just the name Fort Phantom Hill brings a sense of true eeriness. It's one of the most famous historical haunted landmarks in Texas. It was founded in the 1800s and was once an outpost on the Texas Plains. The fort was to be built at the fork of the Brazos River, but someone was asleep the switch as it was built 65 miles in the wrong direction and about 10 miles north of what is now Abilene. The name itself was coined by a young lieutenant colonel who named it while chronicling the births and deaths of forts across the plains. He couldn't have been more accurate to describe this place which had no legal name to begin with. A nameless fort built in the wrong location seems like a good place to create an urban legend or two. It seemed that the fort was doomed to failure right from the start. Creek beds were constantly dry due to long seasons of drought wood and water had to be hauled in from places as far as eight miles away, so crops and gardens had very little success here. When coming in from the north, the remaining chimneys can be seen. As you walk down a gentle slope, the fort seems to disappear from sight, giving it a phantom essence. Many visitors and caretakers has stated that they have had paranormal encounters, that they would hear footsteps and the unnerving feeling of being watched. According to legend, people have also witnessed a ghostly female figure by the nearby lake. Could it be the young Indian maiden who lost her lover in a heated battle with the Calvary? grief-stricken and heartbroken that she committed suicide by drowning herself, or perhaps an officer's wife who could not find her husband after the same battle, trying desperately to find him in her boat, which capsized during a turbulent storm, causing her untimely demise. Either way, this woman is said to walk the shores wearing a white, tattered dress. Is there an underlying element of truth here? Or is it just urban legend? Either way, we're left with a great ghost story. Any ghost stories you'd like to share with me? Don't be frightened. There's nothing to be scared of. Also, my children, be sure to like and comment. Till next time, pleasant.